So we hear tafur, and it's like as though the image is given when a person is thrown in. You know how you have a boiling kettle, or water is already boiling, and you put something in, it goes, Pss! and the steam just jumps out. That's the wahiya tafur. That's what the guy is thrown. There's a loud braying sound, and steam just you know pops up. Wahiya tafur. Takadu tamayyazu min al It is almost about to erupt in anger. Tamayyaza is to separate. Tamayyaza itself means to separate. But there's an expression in Arabic, Tamayyaza fulanun min al Somebody erupted in anger. They couldn't hold it anymore. Then somebody's trying to hold it, hold it, hold it. And they just kind of erupt. They just, just can't take it anymore. You know, it's usually the quiet types. They're just quiet, quiet, quiet. And they've been taking it for so long. And they're your roommate. And you keep talking. And then eventually one day, just in the middle of nowhere, you're just having lunch, and next thing you know, you've been stabbed with a fork. <laughs> it almost, it's about to almost explode with rage. Meaning the, 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 the hellfire has this rage, has this aggression. And the person being thrown in it is like a victim to an angry animal. And it's almost about to just completely explode on this one. كُلَّمَا أُلْقِيَ فِيهَا فَوْجٌ Every single time a huge group of people is being thrown into it, سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا It's guardians. The guardians that were mentioned in Surah Al-Tahreem. Remember them? عَلَيْهَا مَلَائِكَةٌ غِلَاظٌ شِدَادٌ لَا يَعْسُونَ اللَّهَ مَا أَمَرَهُمْ Those same guardians in the next surah. Now they're asking them, أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَذِيرٌ no, no warner came to you? You weren't given graphic description of this? You hear that donkey braying noise? You weren't told about that? You didn't own a donkey and they reminded you now? You know? You didn't hear about the steaming when you're about to be thrown in? You, nobody came? Really? You didn't hear it? SubhanAllah. Alam yatikum nadir. See, this 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 statement is very heavy because I connect the statement directly to what is a nadir? What is a nadir? Nadir is a messenger. But the book is also a nadir. Al-Qur'an wa nadir. If the vast majority of Muslims don't even know the warning, they don't even know what Allah says, how He's warning us about the serious nature of hellfire. And by the way, previous surah already, I already tried to make the point, we're not supposed to feel safe from hellfire. Because if we were, Allah wouldn't tell us to protect ourselves from it. So is it possible that a Muslim who never cared to go through the Qur'an, even a little, even to know, just a little, isn't that question valid on that person too? No warner came to you? You didn't get any warning? Nothing? You have no clue? أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَذِيرٌ قَالُوا And these people, the kuffar even, they said, بَلَا جَاءَنَا نَذِيرٌ Yeah, yeah, a warner did come to us. فَكَذَّبْنَا We just considered him a lie. We just considered it a lie, we considered him a liar. We attribute lies to them. We accuse them of being liars. وَقُلْنَا مَا نَزَلَ اللَّهُ مِنْ شَيْءٍ And we said, come on, Allah didn't send anything down. Please, revelation, God, messenger. You know? If that guy doesn't make tawa, what's his name? Bill Maher, he made a movie called, make a documentary called Religulous. The ridiculousness of religion, right? And his whole point is, so you actually believe a guy talks to God, and God tells him what to tell you, and if you don't do it, you're in trouble with God? Seriously, you, you are willing to believe that? People like that are being chucked in. And they're turning around and saying, yeah, we used to say, that doesn't make any sense. مَا نَزَلَ اللَّهُ مِنْ شَيْءٍ in antum fi dala illa fi dalalin kabir you people you religious close minded conservative backward unenlightened you know types you're the ones holding society back you're just confused and lost you need to open up your mind wa qalu law kunna nasma'u aw naqilu and they will say then if we had only listened and if we had only understood if we had only applied our intellect the first condition mentioned here is that of listening. The thing of it is, this revelation, these messengers, they are of no benefit to a person until they're willing to listen. And after, only after listening, will you consider giving it some thought. Right? We would not have been from the people 
of the the blazing, the scorching fire. فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنْبِهِمْ Then they'll admit to their sin. What is the uh, what is the concept of admitting to your sin, admitting to your sin in dunya? What's that called? Tawbah. Tawbah is when you admit to your sin in dunya. And when you admit to your sin in dunya, you get closer to Allah, yes? Where did we learn that already? Previous surah. Tubu ilallahi tawbatan nasuha. What's the opposite of that? Admitting to your sin, but when? In the akhirah. And you know, tawbah means to turn back. Meaning we willingly turn back to Allah. On judgment day, you're turned towards it whether you like it or not. You're turned to face your consequences whether you, you have to read your book whether you like it or not. You have to admit your sins whether you like it or not. So what's the accomplishment now? And this, this admission will not bring you closer to Allah in akhirah. So Allah says, فَسُحْقًا You know in Arabic we say, بُعْدًا بُعْدًا لِثَمُود Away with Thamud. Now away with is old English. And Bu'dan is, you know, it's old Arabic. It's not really, like it's not understood the same way in modern Arabic as it is in classical times. A king has criminals brought to him in his court. Criminals are brought in chains to, the, to him in his court. And the crime is proven. And what does he say to the guards? Away with him. What does that mean? Take him away. His place is the dungeon now. Away with him. And then the guy is pleading and begging and crying and the king's not going to listen. Now he's already issued his verdict. Away with him. The word for that is bu'dan. Like when a nation disobeys Allah, back in the day when the prophets would come, Salih, Shu'aib, Nuh alayhi salam, and their nations would disobey, Allah would essentially tell the angels, bu'dan. Bu'dan li'ad. Bu'dan li thamud. The angels are told, okay, away with them. Get rid of them. And they would be utterly destroyed in the world. Now the word suhqan is actually akad. It's stronger. Aqwa min kalimat bu'dan. Fasuhqan li ashab al sair Out there, away and away, far, far away, in the depths, away, for the people of hellfire. I don't want to hear them. Take them far away from here. Fasuhqan li ashab al sair So in the earth and this world, the admission of sin brings us closer to Allah. And the akhirah, admission of guilt, get away from here. It does you no good now. فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ One of the 